getting much and now I'm getting a ton more. So that's kind of what you'll have to do with that. Now, some people do their dog stripping in stages. Other people will just pull their whole stripping out. You can do either. It doesn't matter. Um, when you strip in, strip in stages, what happens is you have to know which hair has to be the shortest and which hair has to be the longest. So what happens is this area right here, which tends to be a little long because you're filling in that little spot where the shoulders come together, this would be the first area that gets stripped out because you need this to have a head start on growth. Then you would look at possibly stripping out the back here because you want that really nice and tight. You can do the, the loin here, the body of the dog, the barrel of the dog. Usually the shoulders then they say are the last. But to be honest with you, if I've got a dog on the table and he's got a two plus inch long coat and the hair follicle's dead, it comes out really easily. You can feel a difference. If the hair is just like, if it's just not coming out and you're pulling and you feel like it's not coming out, it's in there like glue, it's probably because it's still very much of a live hair and really truly not ready to come out. But you'll find that as the hair gets longer, it starts to lose its life. It's like the little, you know, when you break off a limb off the tree, the little, in, the little branches at the end of the, the, the big log, they just don't break because they're such green saplings and you just can't even rip them off. But as it gets longer and older, it'll come out a lot easier. And believe it or not, you will be able to feel that. So when I do a dog, I literally, I'll just strip the whole thing out. I figure if I'm going to put them on the table and spend the time with them, I might as well do the whole coat and just take it all out. So then I get this whole new coat coming in all at the same time, all the same length. So what you have to do is called roll the coat. And rolling a coat is, as I said, the coat will continue to only grow to about so long and then it just dies. So you have to continually pull the long hairs out so that you have continually new hairs growing in. And you can do a little test to find out if you've got new hairs growing in. What you do is you take your fingers and you run backwards in the coat like this and you'll feel like little tiny prickles. And those little tiny prickles are new harsh hairs coming in. So like especially if you have like a dog that's been clippered at one point, you can continue to rake and about two weeks after continually raking like every couple of days, if you run your fingers back up this way, you should start feeling new little buds of hair. And now you know you've got new harsh hair coming in. But when you're showing a dog, you've got to keep, usually, you know, it takes a good couple of months to show a dog and to, to get his championship. So you want to keep the coat as, um, so that you can have a nice one every weekend to show. And that's where you get enrolling. And what I do to roll a coat is you comb it all down and you literally just pick it. Like I was showing you at the very beginning of what stripping is. I take a comb and I comb it backwards like this. And you can see the longest ones. And I literally just take my fingertips and just pick it. And when you do that, you're putting new hairs in its place. So you just pick the little ones. Now, again, you want a level top line. So I highly recommend you do groom in front of a mirror. Because what happens is you've got to look and you've got to say, because a lot of times we'll strip and strip and strip and we'll wind up stripping like the sides and we sort of leave this spot here and we can make a dog roach back. But then, so if you, continually comb and stack the dog, you can see where you're making holes and where you need to leave it alone. Just remember, as the hair gets longer, especially in this area, because we tend to leave this alone and start stripping here, you have to remember where's the hair follicle is going to make the hole. If you think about this hair right here, it, the end is here, but the beginning is here. So if I'm starting to make a divot here, because I've left this hair long because I knew I had to and I'm stripping back. 
I might make it worse because I'm thinning this spot out. You have to say, where's that hair follicle start? And this is really when it comes to rolling a coat. So you say, well, actually, if my roach is here, then the hair that's making that roach is the hair that's starting here, not up here. So you have to kind of think that in mind. You can bathe a Scotty as often as you want, believe it or not. A Scotty should be loved, held, and snuggled. And if it smells stinky, then bathe it. But you, better, you have to use dog shampoo. The, the, the way a dog's hair is, is, is chemically made up is different from human hair. And you need to use a dog shampoo. And you must, to continue to grow skirts, you must use a cream rinse and a conditioner, dog conditioner, on the legs. You do not have to use a conditioner on the back because we want that to be harsh and it'll soften it up. But you need to use conditioner on the legs and you need to do the treatment and let it soak. And that will create that nice, long, flowing look. Um, if sometimes they're out and it's muddy or it's wet and it's rainy and you've taken them for a walk and they're filled with grit, a lot of times what you can do is you can stand the Scotty in the wash tub of the laundry tub and you can get and just fill it up, you know, with that much water, and you can just bathe their skirts. Their back's clean, and you don't want to have to go through all that again, so just bathe their skirts. Use some shampoo, put some conditioner on it, and just bathe their skirts. Like when we go to a dog show, the day of the dog show, we stand them in a cat litter pan, and we rinse their skirts so that they're perfectly pristine hanging there. There's no rules. You can, you can bathe the Scotty as often as you want. Any questions? How long? How long? It, depend, it depends on what conditioner you're using. Just follow the direction. Dura seed, I leave 10 minutes. Better or worse? I don't think it matters. I've left up to 15 minutes because I got stuck doing something else.